Now I'll show you how to create a histogram. Given a frequency distribution and or relative frequency distribution, you can create a histogram with spreadsheets doing the following. Go to select the frequencies and go to insert column and select the cluster column. This essentially is a frequency distribution, but the horizontal axis is not labeled correctly. If you don't like something, you can click on it and hit delete to remove it. For most frequency distributions, we wouldn't like any gaps between the bars. Right click on one of the bars and format data series to remove the gap. You can then change the horizontal labels by right clicking and going to select data. Under horizontal axis labels, hit edit, then choose the classes, then hit OK and OK. The bottom is now labeled. We can title the axes The vertical axis will always be frequency or relative frequency. The horizontal axis will vary depending on the problem. To create a relative frequency histogram, repeat the same thing, but use the relative frequencies. Use the same classes for both. Notice the two graphs have the same shape. This is because the heights of the bars are proportional, and all we've done is divide each of the heights by 40. With the rescaling of the vertical axis, no difference is seen other than the scaling on the vertical axis. Since the same information can be determined from both, there are alternate ways of looking at the same data set. 